What's up guys? Back here doing part three of the stealth drone build. It's got the retracts I'm gonna be putting on it. I went ahead and tore apart my prototype model. Here's the main wing we assembled in part one and two. I'm just going to show you real quick how I build the thrust tube unit. Here I got a Detrum 70 millimeter EDF combo kit. It's got the 60 amp speed control. Comes with four 9 gram servos. And I get this from GraysonHobby.com. So what I did here is for your build you're just going to use one foam cup. And the way you put this in here is there's tabs on the EDF unit on the fan shroud. So you got to cut out for the tabs. Like right there. So what I do is I went ahead and measured back three inches. Cut that out. So that way your EDF unit and your wires will slide right down through the slot. That was a three inch. On the other side, you come down an inch and a half. That's so the tab on that side will slide down through. Now like I said, then I just went ahead and hot glued the top, the EDF unit, to the foam board. On your build, you're just going to be using one foam cup, just like how I got here. I already went ahead and cut out the very end. Just cut that right off with a razor knife. So again, it's three inches and an inch and a half. And then your EDF unit will slide right down in there. You just want the very top of the EDF unit to stick out of the foam cup. I mean, it fits perfect. And I'm sure this will work for any of your 70 millimeter EDF units. So if you wanted to install a different motor and shroud. All right, for mine, I got the Dr. Mad 70 millimeter <clears throat> thrust tube light kit. It's actually the LED light lights for your afterburner effect. But I'm installing that on mine, so I'm going to do mine a little different. Like I said, if you installed your EDF unit in the foam cup like how I showed you, of course this is going to slide right into our main wing. Just like that. That's how yours will be. Then you just go ahead and hot glue it. Top, bottom, on both sides. Since I'm going to be using the afterburner light, I went ahead and installed my EDF unit in my cup, just like how I just showed you. I went ahead and cut the cup back from the bottom. You slide your afterburner lights right on there, hot glued it from the back. I'm going to take another foam cup. Slide that on here like this. Make sure it's nice and centered. That looks damn good. Just want to make sure it all looks centered. Alright, so this is how I'm going to do mine. I'm just going to go ahead and tack this with a little bit of hot glue. I'm just 
just going to tack it in four spots. Once I hot glue this onto the main wing, it's not going to move anyway. This is how you're going to want to do it if you're going to install the afterburner light, like how I'm doing. Like I said, you just cut your cup, the first foam cup, cut it back, slide your afterburner light set on there as far up as it'll go, then come back with your second cup, slide that right on over. There you can see we got the LEDs down in there. I'm just going to take, cut a foam cup right in half. Now since I'm doing this, I got to recut out my thrust tube since I'm doing it this way. back three and three eighths let's check the other side oh, yeah, it looks good so it's three and three eighths this is the first time I've done this like this but that'll be pretty simple What I'm going to do is take my pen, measure three and three eighths back from the from the original thrust tube. Take the foam cup that I cut in half, trace around it. fit in here real nice. This here, this will be cut off later on. Let's go ahead and cut out for this. This is where I like to use my X-Acto blade. little saw action usually cuts it really nice If you ain't using the afterburner lights, you don't have to do all this extra cutting. Yeah, I want the afterburner lights on it. I'll go ahead and 
fit this on here, make sure it fits nice. Oh yeah. It's gonna work perfect. When you install your EDF unit or your thrust tube unit, you're, you're gonna show half on the top and half of it on the bottom. Make sure you push it down in there. Alright, a little bit more. And just make sure your thrust tube is nice and even with the main weed. As you can see, I got half sticking out the bottom, and half sticking out the top. You can see down the half in the top, half in the bottom. Make sure you got the same back here. That looks good. All right, now I just go ahead and. Hot glue this in place. And I need a hot glue stick. Make sure you got it right where you want it before you go hot gluing it. Even look it over a few times to make sure that everything's set nice. right where I want mine. I'll just go ahead and hit some hot glue down both sides. Nice little bead. Like I said, this is if you want your afterburner lights. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the steps I use to build this. I'll even show you how I paint it. Alright, now that that's kind of set up, I'm going to go ahead and hit this bottom side. So we'll push that up in there. This will all be painted, guys. I'm just cleaning up the hot glue back here. Again, these are just the 20 ounce foam cups that I use for thrust tubes. 
They also work good for holding your plane up. now so again if you're just using the single thrust tube with no lights then you just cut out your thrust tube like we already had it and install your EDF unit in the 20 ounce foam cup like I showed you but I'm installing afterburner lights so I just went ahead and extended it and of course That'll all be painted. It'll all be painted black. I got the testers matte black. Stuff works great on foam board, it doesn't melt the foam. Probably gonna be about six parts to this build video with all the work I got to do here. Here's my Elevons we were finishing up, part two. Like I said, I just clear taped them on from the bottom. Then you install three. Three of these like this crossed it. Give you a nice fixes it on there nice. It ain't gonna come off. Do the same thing on this side. You can just go ahead and fold your elevon in. Now the retracts, I'm going to install the retracts in part four. And here's my retracts here. When you get these, these are the DuraFly retracts. They're from Hobby King. You just go to Planes, punch on DuraFly, and then look for the DH Vampire 1100mm EDF jet. And just look for the replacement parts on that. These are the replacement retracks. And you can order these from the West Warehouse here in the United States. They come in the mail a lot quicker. Now when you get the retracks, there's little set screws in here. There's one set screw in there. Another on this side. These are the two rear. What you're going to want to do when the retracts come the tire comes turn this way it folds down flat so I wanted to turn the tire to, to line up with the retract so I went ahead and undid the set screws then you gotta also take these out go ahead and pull the bar right out 
and you're going to want to cut oh, what did I go on that I think it was a quarter yeah it's like a 3 sixteenths to a quarter of an inch off of the metal bar because you want these rear tires to slide up in there further you want them shorter in the back but I'll get into that a little while I'll, I'll show you that in part four now I told you once you installed your thrust tube now you can go ahead and cut off on the plans or you could tape that on there or else you could just eyeball this stuff it's pretty simple I'm just going to make mine both even right out to the edge here just like I did there same thing on this side That way you didn't even have to use the plans. You just put a couple of lines to the back and cut that right off. So now I ain't got nothing in the way of my thrust tube. All right, part four, I'm gonna get into cutting this top and installing the retracts. And I'll go ahead and install the retracts first and then we'll cut out the top of the fuselage it's going to be on here like this but, but you don't put this on until after the retracts are installed so I'll make sure we get to that in part 4 alright I'm going to set up and get ready tape this down on some foam cut out the rest of my pieces assemble them for you Get back with you in a little bit. Over and out.